What's up, people? This is Russian Freako9, and here's another one of those Comet Arms quarantine uh, hiding spot, camping spot, uh, surviving spot, try not to die against zombies videos. Um, this one is uh, also pretty old, also on 240p, so again, watch the 720p icon. Don't bother making it full screen. You're going to be in pain. You're going to get AIDS from it. This one was released on uh, May 2nd, 2010, so uh, a little bit old. I apologize for the quality, but, you know, shit happens. I have to redub these videos, cleaning out my channel for copyright. Anyway, let's get started. So, um, Spot number one. These guys, this is not my original find. This was a bunch of guys that were in my game room. They were hiding in bushes, like a whole squad of them. And I was like, holy shit, that's amazing, because that actually masks you really well, especially if you're wearing woodland camo. Uh, this map, o overall, you should probably be wearing some kind of woodland. Um, so, basically, in spot number two, right here behind this rock, and the reason it works is because zombies, this isn't like a heavy traffic area, they usually pass right above you, or way above you on the bridge over there. So it usually is an interesting idea to hide here, just because they might not look down and see you from way up there or wherever. Uh, but a trouble spot is the stairs over to our right. Over here now is a, um, it's a pretty temporary spot because it exposes you to being unable to escape. If a zombie's in there, uh, shoot all you want, you're not going to be able to get out, unless he's a complete neener and he decides to, you know, uh, let you just jump over him, whatever. Uh, also kind of a spot for lag. But, um, decent spot to hide if uh, you've either, you, you don't have a zombie tail, but you don't feel like running around and risking yourself for the last like 20 seconds of the game, so might as well. This one is a decent spot because you got full view of their approach to you, uh, so if they're, um, if they're coming at you, you can see them, but that's kind of a bad thing also because if they're coming at you, they can see you. Uh, this one's the complete opposite. They can only see you when they're not going towards you. That's a positive and a negative because the odds are they won't be looking towards where not, they're not running, but at the same time, if they are, then you can't tell if they're coming or not and whether you should ditch or not. This spot is sort of the same thing. They usually rush right past it, but uh, if they do check, well, you have an opportunity to escape, but it's uh, a little bit of a danger zone there because it's kind of close quarters and confined. Um, and if your teammates are camping on top of this train right here, do not use that spot because they always knock the zombies back down into that card and the zombies hide behind the box to uh, regenerate their health. Bad plan. Just just leave them, leave that spot. This is an identical spot as um, as the one on the opposite side of the map. Um, I think this is Bravo. I'm not quite sure. I don't play on Kill Creek that often. But here it's the same thing as there. You know, you can see everything up until they start coming towards you, and then you can't see them because of the rock. Uh, but just like in that other spot, you can also go down the side of the mountain here and maybe hide behind this barrel um, to escape. So, uh, but the thing is, you know, odds are by the time you know you should escape, it's probably too late. So, uh, but yeah, this barrel, as you saw in the beginning, it doesn't always work. Uh, it's just a really temporary spot to just lose a tail. Now, this one's um, kind of a popular one, just because it's really easy to get to, and it's pretty quick. Um, I take my time here because, you know, I'm slow as shit. And uh, basically, you can either hide up here, and I would suggest doing that, I guess. Uh, just because, you know, there's a little bit, if you're really good at free running, there's an opportunity to juke some zombies and maybe they'll fall through and they can't get you, but, um, and then you can hide on here if you really need to. Uh, this masks you a little better from the top, but they can still fall down on top of you without you even knowing from basically anywhere. Uh, so yeah, this spot I really like because I have so rarely seen people use it. I don't even think half the people know it exists. Uh, you can just crawl right under the truck here and people just, zombies rush past you and everything. Uh, the only problem is getting out of there in a hurry is a problem and zombies can get you from either side of the truck, I think. So you have to really keep your eyes peeled and you don't have very good visuals. This spot is good because zombies can't see through stairs. Like if you were right behind the stairwell, they'd be able to see you because there's no uh, risers. There's only treads. Ha, architectural terms, bitch. Um, but here there's the whole landing there and they can't see through that and they can't see you from basically anywhere but again, uh, if they're down in the in the river area by the rock, you're not going to be able to find much. So uh, here, I, I think everybody knows how to get up here now. It's not as problematic. But when this video came out, it was old rage. People were like, oh my god, how do you get up there? I can't get up there. I keep lagging off. Uh, and I actually know people who still have lag like this. Um, I personally still cannot actually run to the spot. I just have to follow this pattern that I'm about to show you uh, constantly. So I don't know. Maybe some people are still struggling with it. Help. You know, maybe it'll help. So... Let's get going. Uh, for one thing, this is before the Nexon fixed the death stairs. Death stairs were a bitch uh, because they were vicious and they wanted to kill you. So you just kind of jump across here. Then you jump. You kind of move to the left as you're crouching. You jump on this beam and then you uh, jump on the horizontal, not diagonal beam. And then you jump, not crouch, over onto here. And then you crouch walk up the rest of the way. I like... <laughs> well, the zombie just deleted and uninstalled himself. Um, you just kind of... Um, 
you really tight rope walk it. I don't like using the sides because these beams kind of push you out to the side and you can fall off. Uh, these these uh, cables that you can kind of walk across are a much better idea. And you eventually get to the middle, and the closer you get to the middle, the better, because towards the middle there's that platform beneath you, so if you fall it's not a complete tragedy. But as we know, when you lag, you really, really lag. Once you're in the middle here, uh, once you stop moving, you, you can stand up. See, this guy just runs across here, um, and <laughs> Zombie's like, I gotta go, my people need me. Yeah, follow your dreams. Um, but uh, yeah, you can stand up here um, without lagging off too much um, and not worry about it. But when you're moving, especially on the, on the cables in the middle of the thing, just crouch, uh, save bed. Although for God of War, uh, my buddy, he's uh, he actually can't crouch. When he crouches, he lags off. He has to stand and walk. Uh, so yeah, but here it's essentially all about shooting the zombies off um, and then the, and getting rid of them. Uh, they like to hide in bushes and shrubbery uh, as well. But um, yeah, basically once they get within the last like cross bracing right here that you see with the cables, once they get within that range of you, you gotta go down and you gotta just run up to the to the top of the bridge uh, via ladders on either side and get uh, get out of there because odds are as soon as you stop shooting because you have to reload or whatever, you're pretty much screwed. Um, and yeah, RPGs work better than grenades here. So I hope that helps. Um, these are some Kill Creek spots that actually work and uh, have worked for two years now, uh, whenever I play uh, Kill Creek, but it, Kill Creek's mostly about running and chasing and free running and stuff, so keep that in mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you found it helpful, and uh, I'm not gonna ask for, you know, likes, subscribe, whatever, that pisses me off and people do that anyway, so um, if you enjoyed, just tell a friend if you feel like it, and I'll be out with more content uh, soon enough, so stick around for more.